This coding exercise presents a little bit of an interesting challenge, but it's one that is very important, especially when it comes to working with APIs. So when you work with an API, such as say that you're calling some outside service and it returns a list of results, those results are traditionally going to be returned as string values even if they are integer based. So what needs to happen if you need to perform mathematical equations on that data? Well, that is what we're going to get into here. So I am going to drop into our test here just to see exactly what our expectations are. So it says that it sums an array of string based integers. So right here we can see that I've created a range going from one to 20, but each one of these values are a string. And then right here I have one going from 100 to 1000 with each value as a string. And just for good measure to see how this works, it looks like what our implementation needs to do is to work with strings and integers because the second test says that it sums an array of integers. So essentially what we need is the ability for our system to take in a value like this and to add it up so that this equals the integer value of three. Notice how I have this in strings this in strings, and the answer needs to be able to take in those and then give the correct value. Now, by default, this is not going to work. So if I come here and let's say that I try to add these together just like this, you can see that this says that it equals 12 and it's not actually performing any math. All that is essentially happening here is it's concatenating the two, which is what Ruby does by default with strings. So it simply takes the value, or not the value, it takes just the string representation of one, and then it appends two onto it, which will give us 12. If this was, say, three and two, the answer would be 32, but that is not the mathematical answer we're looking for. For right here, what I would want for the correct answer would actually be the integer value of I should say, uh, five right here. So that is what we're looking for. So how exactly can we do this? Well, that is going to be what we implement. So I'm going to say string sum, and this is going to take in a set of numbers as a argument. And then with those numbers, I'm going to perform two things, two calculations. The first is I'm going to use the map method and I'm going to use the special ampersand syntax to say that I want to convert each one of the numbers into an integer. So what this is going to do is it's going to take these values in. So say that I have string sum and here we're passing in a set of values so if I just want to do just to make it easy to make the math easy I'm going to pass these two in now if I return this then so far what it's done you can see is that it's converted these so instead of strings these are now integers so now that these are integers we can actually work with them the way that we need so from here I can call the inject method, use the same ampersand syntax, and because I'm passing in a plus, this is going to sum all of these values up. So now looking down, the answer should be three at the very end. Running the code, you can see that that is what we are getting. So that is working nicely. So now let me delete these. And let's actually take a look at the test. So I'm going to say RSpec, February the 12th. We should have two examples and zero failures, and we do. So this is one other thing before we finish up that I want to mention. Because the items, the numbers, are integers, if you try to convert an integer to an integer, it doesn't hurt anything. Because if you're wondering, how did this test pass even though we did nothing in relation to integers it's because say that we pass in the value an integer array of one and two and then map 
the two integer method over this, it's not going to change those values and it's not going to throw an error. Whenever Ruby runs into code and you try to cast one data type as another and it turns out that the data type's actually the same, then it simply is going to not have any negative side effects and everything's going to process as normal. And that's the reason why I included that test. So even though we had the purpose of only summing strings, this still works perfectly perfectly on integers. So nice work if you went through that. You now know how to create a sum method that can properly add up a set, an array of strings.